Hey everyone, welcome back to the Pokemon Casino. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. We got a case of Evolving Skies uh, right in front of us right now. Uh, we are going to be cracking this open. It was basically a vote that I put to the community on Instagram. Uh, here we go. Breaking the seal. Stop. No, we're not stopping. We are cracking this guy open. Uh, sorry for the jittery hands of holding the camera while I'm doing this and cracking this open. Uh, like I said, it was 100% basically the vote that I put on Instagram on my story. If I should sell this or if I should crack it open and go for the alt arts. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a opened up case now of Evolving Skies. So there you go, uh, it's six cases in here, uh, ready to roll. Uh, pretty excited for this. Uh, so let me put this box away. Let's get cracking at the first uh, case break. Okay, we are back. Get ready to crack this. Of all these guys, case break number two actually on this channel. Uh, I, I did one when it first came out. Evolving Sky is actually the, the product that I've opened the most of. Uh, Chilling Rain is obviously the first thing I ever opened. And uh, so we're gonna crack this open. I opened up a booster and so many of those build and uh, battle stadiums. Uh, so here we go. We are searching for the alt arts. Uh, I have a couple of alt arts already. Uh, the, what do I have? It's the, I have the Umbreon V. I have the Dragalon V, uh, v Max. I have the Glaceon V Max. Uh, and I have the Glaceon Leafeon V Max as well. I was like trying to think what it was. Oh my God. We <laughs> have our first. Well, we have our secret card. Uh, first pack magic, Stormy Mountains. Uh, so, so do not expect that. Uh, it's not an alt art, so you know. Uh, but we do have a secret card in here. Uh, Stormy Mountain, great way to start off this case break. Uh, box number one of six. So we got Stormy Mountains item card. Uh, and then we got, you know, just a bunch of other uh cards that we're not interested in and then i'm going to be sharing some of the code cards throughout so make sure you guys watch throughout the whole video uh, to, to catch some of those that i'll be handing out uh wow <laughs> stormy mountains i don't think i had that one uh it's an item card it's a stadium card i mean um so let's see what else we get i'm interested to see uh, like what other uh cool goodies we can be getting out of this booster box some full art would be nice of the evolutions. Uh, if we can get a couple of those, that'd be nice. Hopefully no rainbow trainers. Because as you all know, I always get rainbow trainers. Uh, Romulated Thievul. And uh, we're going to put that one away. Nothing interesting on that one. I think we're going to get about like what? Like six to eight hits a box. I think that's sort of what we're going for. Oh, we got a V, a V card. What V card is it? Let's figure it out. Let's go. It's a V. Uh, uh, <laughs> the one that no one wants. I got. I've pulled that one so many times. Not even funny. How many times I've pulled? I've pulled Arctovish. So here we go. We're gonna, I got this from a local retailer. This was actually probably part of the first wave. Um, they started selling these right before, I believe, uh, the reprints were actually already out. So I, I think this is actually from, I mean, like a distributor probably just had it in stock or something like that. They just didn't sell all of them, kept some in the warehouse, and then they heard a restock was coming, so they wanted to clear the inventory. Uh, so I think that's it. There's a hit in here. There's a hit. Emolga, super cute Pokemon, like a rat Pokemon, just like Pikachu. And what do we have? Espeon VMAX, very nice. 
Very nice uh, evolution here. The centering is completely off. I think that's how we can sort of know it's from the first print run uh, where all the cards were just like the print quality was just absolutely terrible from what I recall. Uh, hopefully the reprint is uh, better on the second one. But, uh, you never know with these English cards. Uh, that's why I was sort of thinking about selling it. So I'm switching over to Japanese. Oh, we got two uh, hollows here. Very nice. Uh, since the Japanese cards are just so much better quality on average, like you just can't even compare day and night uh, on how they look. So we're, 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 we're plowing through these guys. We're plowing through. I know everyone's busy, so I just want to make sure that we open this uh, quickly so that, so that you guys can go on and watch my other videos. Hopefully you guys have been liking the sort of the changes of thumbnails and everything like that. Trying to make it a bit more appealing, draw more attention to the channel as well. Let me know what you think about that. Um, if you're a new viewer, you haven't been following before. Uh, how much do those thumbnails actually matter? Uh, like in terms of the attraction, obviously I had some pretty amateur ones before and no thumbnails even before when I first started this channel, right? Just started recording and putting stuff up, but... Uh, my wife started laughing at me because she said it was so like amateur hour and childish that she that she thought I should sort of do something about it. So I got these programs on my iPad, started like sort of making these basic ones, white background and stuff like that. Oh, we got a hit. Let's see what it is. Scout land and leaf yawn. Yes. I love these evolutions, even though I have all of them. Uh, I think the V ones, uh, just love seeing it, right? You just love seeing it, you can't hate it. I was, saying, I was making all these backgrounds on like like white backgrounds and stuff like that. Uh, but I uh, decided to up my game. Decided to get Photoshop now. So creating some nicer looking ones as well. It's been quite a learning curve. I don't know if anyone's um, used Photoshop before or has uh, experience or tried. It is, uh, it's not easy. It's, it's a, such an amazing tool, uh, but it's definitely a learning curve. There's definitely a learning curve in, involved uh, with that. You, uh, you gotta spend some time looking at these tutorials, uh, but I'm glad to say, like I saw, I got some of the basics down, like how to get images, remove like the white background so it's transparent, so it just look better. Uh, so that's the good part, I guess. Of, a, of, a, of a doing like a repeated task over and over that it's uh, once you get it done you can do it quickly but let me tell you the first like the first time I was creating some of these uh, more graphical appealing appealing uh, backgrounds uh, wallpapers or what do you call them thumbnails it, it just wasn't uh, it, there, there definitely was not a workflow involved there's more of me like trying to figure out what I'm trying to do, looking for a function, trying to Google if there is that function and then watching like a 10 minute tutorial on how to do it, etc. So it definitely, there's definitely a learning curve involved. But you know, hopefully the more I get to it, the more, I, the more time I spend on it, there's uh, some payoff, right? And hopefully this looks better uh, for, for our viewers, for you guys. And then hopefully this brings more people to the community. Uh, watches some of our case breaks like this one. It was such a pretty one, Elder Gloss. Uh, so hopefully, yeah, we can get more viewers, more subscribers, more likes on videos. Just, um, just, just let me know what you guys think. So I'm just wondering, because this is an old box, right? I wonder what the pull rates are. I actually have no idea what the pull rates would be for like the secrets and stuff like that. But I remember my luck wasn't that great on the build and battle stadium boxes for Evolving Skies. I got a bunch of those and I gotta say, I just remember like I got this one off Amazon. Oh, look at Pikachu. And, and it was not great. <laughs> it was like, it was like no hits in like so many of those boxes. And uh, I guess I got all those boxes because I wanted like those, the, the pre-release cards. I wanted the one with the Evolving Skies logos on them. Um, but now, now I don't really care as much. I just probably shouldn't have wasted that money on that. Um, just because I don't really care for that one, but, uh, Hey, you know, 
So you live and learn. That was just, Evolving Skies is just like the second setup released after I started collecting and um, really knowing about Pokemon trading card products. Oh, there's a hit here. I think it's a V Max. Oh, it's a full art. Full art! Metachamp! I don't have a Metachamp full art. So I'll take this one for the collection. The centering looks pretty decent as well. It's not great. It's like not a 10, but it's uh, it's, it's all right. Um, so we'll definitely add this to the full art collection. Love my full arts. So this one will go nicely next to Stormy Mountain. Cool. So I think we should be getting a full art trainer still. So let's see what we get. Rip these open. This this deck of bulk is getting too high. I like the, you know. Uh, so let's see what happens if we start a new one right beside it. Smaller mountain. Hopefully this is not going to be Evolving Cries. I know that's sort of the, the meme name for this set. Evolving Cries because like no one gets the good cards because the hit rates aren't as great. But you know, it probably can't get worse than Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike was just absolutely the worst. Uh, Fusion Strike was absolutely rubbish. Uh, zero interest in opening up that product ever again. Because the cards that I wanted, like the Mew and stuff like that, just definitely better off to just buy the single. I uh, don't want to waste my money or waste my time. Don't want to be disappointed anymore on those ones. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, guys. So let's see what else we get. Uh, after this case break, I have a few more like English products that I have just in my closet that I was like keeping for a, a rainy day. And it is raining today in Hong Kong. So, so I guess it's a good excuse to start this case break on it on this rainy, rainy day. But we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully we get like the, the main one for me is obviously Moonbrion. I wouldn't say that's the main. The one that I really wanted was the Rayquaza VMAX All Art. When it first came out, I just thought that card was so amazing. And so that's the reason why. But if we can get the uh, Umbreon, <laughs> no one's going to complain, right? That's, that is a $300 card right now, the Umbreon. Um, and it's even more in Japanese. I think it's something like... It was a thousand US dollars before, from what I understand. It's probably like six, seven hundred dollars now. I think the exchange rates and stuff like that have uh, have, have improved for the US, so everything is just a bit cheaper. So that's that. Like, I don't think I would want to spend that much money on it. Like three hundred fifty dollars on the Moonbrion. So hopefully we can pull it. We got a hit here. We got a hit, guys. What is it? It's not little again, something's behind it, but then, oh, suicine, 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 uh, I got that a few times before. Uh, so we're just adding these, and, and these are all cards that I'm gonna be trying to sell to the local players, see if anyone is interested. Moms or dads for ones um, that wanna pick it up for their kids. Uh, just because I was talking to a friend here, and they were, their kid is like six or seven, I'm super into Pokemon, and they probably buy like just open like one or two packs like a month if you're lucky. I have to do good in school, etc. Uh, but she's like, it's so hard to get these V cards. Like, how do you have so many? And I'm just my response was because I open a lot and waste a lot of money on it. I'm a kid at heart. I'm a kid at heart, guys. Who's with me here? I always got to stay. You got to. Act young to stay young. Is that right? Is that the way that it goes? So we got about four more packs here. Looking for a full art trainer. Um, I don't know if it's guaranteed that you get a full art trainer, but we'll see. We'll see. See if there is one here. Because we got we got what one, two, three, four, five, six. Six hits, and I said on average, oh, we got something here. V, v Max. Boom. Oh, Gyarados. Hey, this is a pretty one. I really like this one. 
Gyarados. Gyarados is one of those Pokemon that you just like um, because of Magic Carp, I think. It's just because of, like everyone kind of like just flopping around. So you're just trying to chill, just to get things not really bothering anyone out of anyone's way. But if you poke it and prod it, you're gonna regret it because it's gonna evolve and it's gonna bite ya. So so nothing on there. I've got our last pack. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, number one box. Remember to click like, click subscribe for the remaining case break and let's see what we got here. We have Fluffy and, and not a hit, but you know, we got a decent number here. We got a secret card, which is nice. We got Stormy Mountains. We got Metachamp, probably the two, the two champion cards in it. We obviously got the really pretty VMAX cards. I love how they look like. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, please stay tuned for the next one. And hopefully before that and between that, you have great RNG. See ya.